Good morning, students. I'm very happy to meet you again in this session of today. Hope you are not wasting your time preparing well your, for your examination. And uh, our very soon, we hope that we will get back to our classes and proceed with our day-to-day -day schedule of last year, right? By this time, if it is a regular class, we must, uh, we will be just rushing towards practicals. That is, this time we will be busy in writing records and all these things. But unfortunately, we are still proceeding with our lessons and uh, the chapter uh, subjects you might not have completed, I am very sure. So, have some, some consciousness to face the situation, whatever it is. We are not aware of what it is. Pray that God's mercy and guidance must be with you in whatever you have, you are being, you, are, you have been doing. Whatever you are doing, let God's grace be with you. And ask God to give you more and more strength to face the difficulties that you are facing in our day-to-day -day life. Never pray that we should, I should be safe from all the evils. That is not possible. Evils must come to you. What you are thinking is entirely different from God's will. Right? So whatever it is, ask God to give you strength, courage, and grace, willpower to overcome the difficulties, to shine high up in the life. Right, children? Right. Now, the previous class I have been telling you about the uh, all summer in a day by that Bradbury and uh, only the exercise part of it, only the exercise part of it is not completed and uh, just go through the glossary, children. And uh, in page number 175 of your textbook, if you open it, you could see that if you have the textbook by the side of you, just uh, take it, please. In page number 175, there is a game for you. When you don't have any other work, please do that as homework, right? There is a puzzle given. Find out the end and encircle the following words in the word grid. The words have been placed horizontally, vertically, diagonally, and even back to front. So, just it is, you will be very much interested in doing it, I know. That is why I have asked you to do it. Just the words are fates, predict, discriminate, locks, reminded, experience, anticipated, unlock, recall. Now, below. In the next page, page, you could see that page number 176. Read the sentences below, complete them appropriately with the words you identified from the grid. That, is a, that also you just do it as homework. Right. And uh, we have come to the last unit of it. And uh, some grammatical items I have to complete. Very simple things only, but I am expecting that we could meet face to face in the classroom to uh, learn, teach and learn this, uh, learn this grammatical items. Because if I take it through this um, videos, I don't know how you will be attentive, how, whether you could understand it or not. I am not at all, um, what I can say, I am not of that. I mean, not in favor of that, uh, this thing, teaching through videos, the grammar. So I'm expecting you soon in our class and we will complete it. Don't worry, it is all completed portions only, just a revision I have to do, right? And uh, today, the next uh, lesson is the last unit prose on the rules of the road. So by seeing the title, what will be your A.G. Gordiner. He's a British writer. Very good. Very, very 
what we can say, very efficient writer. And through his writing, he brings out a very good, very important, very useful idea to you, especially the students' community. See, we are living in this independent India. Independent India, we are saying. We are living in independent country. We have the freedom for everything. Freedom of speech. We have the freedom to go from here to there, anywhere in the world. We have the freedom to express our ideas. We have the freedom to come to school. We have the freedom to walk on the streets because we got independence, right? We'll say that, I got independence. Children, just imagine one minute. See, you got the freedom to do everything. For example, just let us take a classroom situation. The teacher, very seriously, she is shouting like anything in the classroom. See, two years back, I think, I hope, there is a group of students. When the teacher takes the class, they will be shouting like anything at the back. They will be discussing today evening where we have to go, what you have to buy, at what time we have to meet our uh, girlfriend, all these things they were discussing here, when the teacher is shouting like anything. See, the children, the teacher has the freedom to teach in the class. The children has the freedom to uh, speak, speak what they wish. They have the freedom. But when the freedom they have got is misused, it is a great disturbance for the teacher. Hope you understood the, the situation. You say that I have the freedom. Why? When I speak, what you are losing? No, you are not losing anything. You teach if you like. I have the right to speak, I am speaking. But your freedom is indirectly just curtailing the freedom of the teacher. Right? And sometimes it will lead to some chaos also, confusions also in this world. Similarly, if you take each and every situation of our day-to-day -day life, our freedom, in one way or other, if it is misused, misplaced, it will affect the other people. This idea, this part, this idea is brought forth by A.G. Gordina in On the Rules of the Road. So after reading the on the rules of the road, you must know what all the freedom that we have got and we have to utilize the freedom that we have achieved in the correct sense of the term without disturbing the other people of the world. I'll tell you an example. For example, you have a, the right to walk on the road. You have the right. You are paying a road tax. It is a property of ours, common property. We have every right to walk on the... So saying, with a very good, great bundle on our head, weight, bundle of something on our head, and if you walk through the middle of the road, do you have the freedom to do it? What will be the consequence of it? What will be the consequence of it? If you walk through the middle of the road with a very good uh, um, weight on your head, see, the people who come in two-wheelers, four-wheelers, they get disturbed. There will be traffic, uh, this thing, problems. Right? Your freedom should never get disturbed by your freedom should not um, disturb the other people's freedom. So you have the place to walk through the sides. That sidewalk is there for you to go. You have to utilize it so that they are also safe and at the same time you are also very safe in this world. So similarly, in each and every situation, you could see that when your freedom is misused, misplaced, 
somebody will get disturbed so ag godna very politely ask the students to be self disciplined utilize the freedom in the correct sense of the term and do some so that automatically if you are disciplined if you know to obey the rules of the road here he uses the term rules of the road it not it is not pertaining only to the road it is to our day to day life in our home we have the liberty to do certain things but you should not have the liberty you don't have the liberty to do all the things your parents has the liberty to do certain things but they don't have the liberty to do all the things so each and every person in this world is blessed with certain responsibilities and we have to get into it and do our works for the good functioning of the cosmos the world at large hope you understand this is the this is the gist that ag ne godina tells us through this lesson on the rules of the road right and you are just very quickly moving see there were especially the students of that lay have the tendency to come to school if the morning class is at 8 o'clock you will be reaching school at 8:30 maximum that to 90% of the students come by your own vehicle either your father drops you or your brother or you yourself comes in your own vehicle and just drop the vehicle somewhere there and just coming to school even then you reach the classroom at 8:30 8:30 have you ever thought it is you have the freedom to walk through this uh, uh, campus very slowly as you like enjoy the nature the pick your the what i can say that um, trees and plants that you could see on both the sides of the path all this you have the freedom but your freedom is curtailing the freedom of the other people and slowly at about 8:30 you are reaching the class and when you come here excuse me miss may i get in they are very widely opening your mouth teeth you'll be just asking this you'll ask excuse me and you'll so just look at the other students and laugh because you have done a heroism there by coming late at 8:30 so and it is a great disturbance for the class who are listening to the class children and it is a great disturbance to the poor soul who is teaching you have not uh, aware of it you will just lead give a deaf ear to it i have the right to come in see just think how much disturbance it has caused to the students who are sitting and listening and the teacher who is teaching in the class right so just like this in each and every situation that you have come across in your life take it and just analyze it and find out how much disturbance you are just causing to others with that word liberty freedom i have liberty that i have see very very quickly at the last minute you are coming to school in a hurry hurry manner unfortunately you don't think that you are in bethlehem somewhere in the heart of the city nagakoil maybe and uh, there the signal in the signal the traffic policeman has stopped you how will you feel children this foolish man has no other work he doesn't know the seriousness of myself that is why he is stopping me see i have a test in the morning class how could i reach the school if he is doing like this this is what you will be feeling but just think from the point of view of the um, traffic policeman how he will be really what is his thought if he did not stop you what will be the consequence of it if he did not stop it what will be the consequence of it there will be utter chaos and confusion there in the road right so each and every situation that we come across in our life if you analyze it you could see that there is that we should use our liberty 
freedom that we have achieved in the correct sense of the term. Right, children? Right. Now take your textbook and we will see the further details in your, in our text, through our textbook. Take page number 177 on the rules of the road written by A.G. Gordiner. About A.G. Gordiner, it is uh, given at the last uh, page. He was, uh, as I said earlier, he was a British journalist and a writer. And uh, he has a peculiar style and uh, his subject matter is also to be appreciated. He in this, uh, he included in one of the gardener's complications titled Leaves of the Wind. From there he has taken this, included his uh, uh, paragraph, essay. And uh, he is a very, he wrote with a pen name, Alpha of the Plough. He wrote uh, with a pen name, Alpha of the Plough. Right. So let us come to that lesson, very small lesson, but it is teaching you a lot of things in your life, in all our works of life. See, if all the people of the world are disciplined, self-disciplined, self-disciplined, there is no need for the policeman, there is no need for the lawyer in the court, there is no need for the people to watch over. See, from the and the school bell rings for you to go out from the campus. In your classroom there is a teacher. In the corridor there will be a group of teachers in line, just like soldiers. And when you step into the campus, there are a group of students, the teachers with a long stick, they will be standing. At the end, the director or the principal will be standing. Because you do not know to you do not know what is discipline. How you have to You are misusing the liberty that you have got. When you misuse it, it will cause a great damage to the school, school authorities, school property, everything. Hope you understand. Just when you get time, children, sit and think. Think of all these things. If you think and analyze it, you will never do what, is, what you are not supposed to do. Right? There is no need for crimes in this world. There is no need for policeman. There is no need for uh, police station. There is no need for court. There is no need for lawyer. There is no need for judge at all. Right? Can you achieve this type of society when you come into the society as gentlemen and ladies? Do it, children. Let us see. Right? On the rules of the rule of the road by A.G. Gordina. Classify this picture, see first one, from the picture given below, identify the actions that may cause inconvenience and discomfort to others. Discuss about it. So we'll discuss about it when we come to class. Classify these pictures to show what they depict. Personal freedom, public liberty, what are the personal freedoms? Coloring the hair red, listening to music is your personal freedom? Yes. Cycling? Yes. Climbing the mountain? You have the personal freedom. To walk through the pathway, sidewalk, you have the freedom. To speak your views without hurting the feelings of others, you have the freedom. Public liberty, using mobile phone, driving recklessly on the road, especially 11th, 12th, 10th students, that to 11th and 12th students, moving recklessly with four children on the bike. Can't even bear it to see, right. Now, let us see what God in our tells here. A stout old lady was walking with a basket down the middle of the street 
in Petrograd in the great confusion of the traffic with no small peril to herself. Peril without any risk. Without any problem, she casually walks through the road, middle of the street, with something on her, with a, with a heavy basket. With a basket with her. A stout old lady. That Petrograd is the former name of Petersburg, a city in England. Petersburg. Mm. St. Petersburg. Petrograd is the old name of Petersburg. So once a stout lady, that to a fat lady who finds it very difficult to walk, and she carries a basket and she is walking through the street of Petersburg. And thus, what about the condition of the street? It is a very traffic, highly, just a thickly populated street. People are moving here and there by foot, vehicles are moving, and this lady is also moving in the middle of the, through the middle of the street. And she is, she don't have any risk. She did not take any risk to herself. Because it, she has the right to walk through the road. It is a government road. It is a common path. She has the right to walk through it. That is what she has been thinking, right? And what, the, whether, what is the consequence of it? Just imagine, children, what will be the consequence of it if she goes on walking like this through the street? Just imagine, either she will be knocked down by a vehicle or she herself will knock, just dash against some other vehicles and finally the poor owner of the vehicle has to undergo the suffering. But she is not at all bothered about all these things. She just walks very casually on her own way. It was pointed out pointed out to her that the pavement was the place for pedestrians. So some people who are just standing there, maybe the traffic controller or the commoner, maybe they, one among that people, they have asked, uh, told, the, he, he has told him that it is not the way that she has to walk. She has a peculiar place for her to walk through the side. There is a place for pedestrians, that is, people who walk by foot. But she replied, see this stout lady, she's uh, usually we cannot talk to this uh, old people because they will be sticking on to what they have been thinking. Whether it is right or they will never accept the views of the youngsters. They will always cling on to what they are saying. Even after walking in through the middle of the road, when somebody prote pro protested against it, she says that, I am going to walk where I like. It is my road. I am paying road tax. I am giving all the tax to the government. And I have equal right like you to walk on this. Maybe you are walking through the, walking on a, you are moving in a vehicle. But I am walking, that's all. That is the only difference. But I have the equal right, like you. I am going to walk where I like. We got the liberty now. Now we are living in a free country, independent country. So we have the freedom. I have the freedom. It is my road. It is our road. I have the equal right, like you, to walk through this road. It did not occur to the dear old lady that if liberty entitled the pedestrian to walk down the middle of the road, then the end of such liberty would be universal chaos. So just imagine if every pedestrian thinks that I have the right to walk through the middle of the road, what will be the end of it? What will be the consequence of it? The end of this type of liberty 
will surely end in chaos and confusion. Correct, children? Just take other situations that you face in your life. Analyze it. What will be the consequence of it if I do not do like this? If I do like this? Just imagine. Just analyze it. And you will never do mistakes wrong in your life. Right, children? So, such... Uh, and uh, after analyzing it, thinking of it, in the next class, maybe the interactive session, you just can ask certain, certain doubts regarding this. You are welcome, right? Everybody would be getting into everybody else's way and nobody would get anywhere. So if everybody gets into everybody else's way, what will happen? Nobody will reach the destination. You cannot reach the destination. That is what A.G. Gardiner says and that is the truth. Everybody would be getting in everybody else's way and nobody would get every, anywhere. Individual liberty would have become social anarchy, anarchy, rebellion. Individual liberty leads to social chaos, confusion, rebellious activities. So if the girl, lady walks through the middle of the road, she will be knocked down by the vehicle and she will be there. The relations of that lady comes there. She is very old. See, how dare you are to knock at this, my, my mother, who is very old? Can't you just see her moving? Can't you be a little cautious? See, now my mother is no more. So they become rebellious. Anarchy. There is a danger of the world getting liberty drunk in these days. So, nowadays, everybody thinks that it is my liberty. I have the right. Everybody thinks that I have the right. What will be the condition of the world? Nobody is bothered. So, liberty drunk. Everybody takes their own right to enjoy the freedom. That is the meaning of it. If we have the right, if we take it as a right to enjoy the freedom of us, what will be the consequence of it? In, the, in these days, we have the, people have the tendency of getting into liberty drunk. The old lady with the basket, and it is just as well to remind ourselves of what the rule of the road means. Now you could understand what is the rule of the road, what are the rules of the road. It is not pertaining only to the rules of the road, it means something else also. It means that in order that the liberties of all may be preserved, the liberties of everybody must be curtailed. So the meaning of it is, all the people's liberty must be provided, preserved, but at the same time, all the people's liberty must be curtailed also, reduced also. I have the liberty to walk on the road, but I have the liberty to walk only through the Sides. I have the liberty to drive the vehicle, but I have the liberty to drive the vehicle only through the love side. Right? So, everybody has the liberty, but everybody has the liberty, everybody must be curtailed. Our liberty is curtailed also. Hope you understand the meaning of it. Right? It is a great deep thought that A.G. Gardner wants to put to you to think and act in future. With this, let us stop this uh, session and uh, go through it, go through the non-detailed session also and in the next class we will meet children, prepare well for your exam, don't think that write just like the half early, you can enjoy writing the test and escape from 12th standard, never dream like that, okay, bye children.